Hi, in this third part of the midterm examination sample, I will complete making the, <clears throat> the ramp here and also make the stairs inside. So, uh, first, uh, in the second level, I was making this uh, in arbitrary locations uh, based on my uh, thinking that I didn't add a dimension to that. And when I double check the second level, I found that it's uh, here, it's uh, 1800 and then 1000 and then 990 so let's let's fix this issue so I'll just uh, drag that to the edge outside and it's uh, God it's it's really a nice coincidence it's 1800 then 1000 that's the door itself and don't tell me that's this is 9 9900 uh, good so that's 990 like this so that's all so again uh, probably I need to go to the level one and uh, delete that guy and just bring it so they will be aligned to either to each other vertically so that's what I'm gonna do so now if I go to 3d now it's been fixed and according to the dimension provided now I'll go to the level one and I need to have a good look at uh, at this actually and it's in level two not a much of a detail so here it's better in level one so it's 1,200, 1,200, and so on. So it's a high, it's highly recommended, uh, guys, to do uh, in the annotation a detailed line and use the offset 1,000 based on a picking process here, and then change that to 200 and make uh, constructional lines that you later on gonna delete. It's really, really going to ease your life when you work with this uh, such a complicated uh, geometry as a ramp and even less complicated geometry like uh, like uh, <clears throat> like uh, stairs. So that's uh, one, two, three. I think I need another one. So again, annotation and that's picking and uh, that's a 1000 here. And that's it. Now... 4310 from the fence from the inner face of the fence 4310 so that's it and with the use of extend I can just uh, stop all those lines to that specific level from here to here and then I will go 1000 and then 12,000 so probably I will need to Trim that guy. So taking this to copy uh, 1,000, and then I will copy that to 12,000, and then probably copying it down another 1,000. Fair enough. So again, trim and then get rid of all the extra lines. Probably uh, need this one to be stopped here. Now I will go ahead and use the split here and I'll break those lines so I can use the midpoint of them when I create this guy uh, you can even go ahead and again uh, you know that's uh, a maneuvering area I think we don't need this guy neither this guy neither those two things anyway uh, that's uh, gonna go here and that's gonna go here so that's the start that's here and the end of the first of flight so again we could stop those all here so fair enough so now uh, again splitting is a good idea so let's split here so you have this as an entire line and that's its midpoint its midpoint so again architecture and then ramp make sure that you start up with a minus 100 because the level here of the land is a minus 100 and it's end up to a level 2 so when you zoom in here uh, that's the starting area and just go vertically to here and then that's the starting area and then you go down here and that's the starting area and then you go here 
and again that's the starting point and then you go down until you see nothing left so whatever it is stopping make sure to zoom into the text and see that it's uh, whatever the length and whatever the incline and then there is a zero remaining you, you must see that there's no actual length here on the ground needed so zero remaining that's why you can go ahead and close that and go to 3d uh, i will select this guy and i will select this guy also and i'm going to change this to the this system now first issue it's a flying in the air half of it so let's fix the handrail while we're here so in this case uh, probably you might need to select that guy and uh, edit its path and select this line and just uh, move it let's say 80 select that guy and let's move it uh, again 80 and so on Select all the lines that's make no sense so undo I'll select uh, why I don't see any dimension in here let me put one to see if I uh, place it correctly which I am not so now I make it 80 then delete that guy now push that down <coughs> 80 push that to the left <coughs> Excuse me. No. It's pushed it's pushed to the inside 80, so some slope railing not parallel. Uh, I hate that message, but it's really important to understand it so uh, first issue it's uh, this guy here these lines these lines are okay you know you see it's perfectly nice see all of them uh, now this is not nice this one still out so let's do it the other guy the other chain of uh, <clears throat> of the handrail so again select move and then 80 and so on now I'll close that here and again I'm gonna push that 80 same warning message about the incline slope it's okay I'm just ignoring it for now and let's look the catastrophic issue that's happened first that guy is flying like this okay and that guy again joined correctly that guy is also joined correctly okay so only this guy is not you know not really working so you need to select it and edit path so I'm going to level one I would really need to cut that here cut that here so they start inclining from this point upward and from this one downward and I just go here like this you might need to if you don't to if you don't need to draw them again like I did I might need to use the split here anyway just make sure that this is a line and this is another line finish this issue and you're gonna see it's splitting here and going down and there is no issue it's working properly now same here you might need by the way to do this but for some reason it's working it shouldn't work by the way so it's just a matter of luck we probably need to do the same thing you've done you just split push that and make those two so that's it for this probably you need to go to the second level and you might need also to select that slab uh, this is lab actually edit its boundary then go to the second level uh, pick that line here and then draw 
based on the edge of that line trim and then trim with this guy to make a you know like a, an area some unjoined issues here Let's trim them yes and now you see now there's a slab so you can reach it and then you know open the door now it's a good idea to select this guy and edit its path again now I will just draw another line and touching this and then touching that and then oops should touch here here I'm gonna move that push it 80 mil let's see how things going beautiful see same thing here guys so just uh, pick that path edit that path sorry and I can go ahead and uh, draw a line 80 and then take another line from that 80 that word and finish see nice beautiful joint and to prevent the falling from that side and that side and that's it for the handrail and for the rump now similar thing I'll go to the level one a quick look at this it's uh, 1200 by 2700 it's, you don't need to make exactly the same thing so I'm just uh, gonna draw that as a guidelines so that's picking a line that's 1200 both sides so that's first that's second and then that's a 2700 and that's one and that's two so you might need to drag some lines here trim some of them and I probably need to draw again lines here as such and here and I'm gonna go architecture and then stairs and then I'm gonna pick monolithic using the run system from the midpoint and look if I zoom in more the vertical razor here we're gonna pass the landing area that I want so I'm gonna just get back here and then I'm gonna start from this point pushing my hand until I see that zero remaining again beautiful now all I can do is just select this guy and align it here like this which will pull all that down to me so you can make it like if it's from 1 to 10 and 11 to 8 so 7 you can, you can make it like uh, extra one here so it's from 1 to 9 10 to 17 kind of better you can make it uh, 8 by 8 if you like it's just another pull here it's whatever whatever pops in your brain that's 8 by 8 anyway uh, let's drag that by the arrow to the face and same thing here drag that by the arrow to the edge and the same thing here and after you finish just hit that and it's gonna be working now probably to the second level and again to the slab edit its boundary and probably need to draw a rectangle here from this point to exactly I don't know where so I'm gonna stop and then use the align tool to align it to the edges of you know the stairs finish that and yes and now if you if you have a look you know from the curtain wall system I opened that for the stairs now it's really hard for me to see the stairs because it's blocking me out out of the wind because of the window here uh, I can go by uh, by the by this and I know that there's a section here which is good idea to go to view and create one while we're here as such double clicking on the arrow of it I can go to go to the 3d view actually right to click here and align orient sorry view section and to this section and now it's section if you hit that in the 3d we're still in 3d looking at the section as a 2d now it's a sective it's a 3d section so select those two things here the railing which I don't like I'm gonna change them to uh, glass panel 
and you can see that uh, now everything is working perfectly except people are gonna fall from here and die so it's a good idea to select that guy edit its path go to the second level probably adding some uh, I don't know 100 and then another 100 here I'm gonna make it by eye and then I'm gonna attach that to the wall and then you can just select it and add a dimension to it to know exactly how much it's 100 for example and it is 100 here so just get rid of those dimension finish that guy and you see now it's lovely and it's safe and secure no one gonna fall from here and that's it basically that's uh, that's all I can select uh, not not selecting anything or deselecting anything and then remove the section box so that's basically it that's my house my villa small basic villa uh, with all the finishes material that we have in the exam let's double check in the in the pictures I think it's uh, perfectly done and one last thing probably you need you need to do is to uh, consider adding furniture and uh, it's really easy job I'm not really gonna do it all in front of you so just go architecture component and then place a component and whatever you don't find here like load it like if you for example you go to metric system and then you go to you know like um, I don't know what what furniture and then seating for example like uh, this guy and then just to place it that's it that's all you need and probably a couple of spaces to make a rotation like such you know and that's it I uh, wish that you might find that uh, tutorial useful for you guys and um, uh, probably we might need to add some dimension later on to that and I think it's also fair and easy anyway if I wish that you find that uh, tutorial useful for you for you thank you very much and uh, have a good day